Okay, we're going to be doing some division using the counting method. And um, I have a dividend of 72 divided by the divisor of 3. Sometimes it's written this way, so I put both on there for you to see. So I'm going to start by setting my divisor on the extreme left of the abacus. So 1, 2, 3 is my divisor. I'm going to set my dividend on the extreme right of the abacus. So it's 72. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I do my 4, 5 exchange. 6, 7, 1, 2, 72. So now I need to divide. Um, but first I need to compare. So I'm going to compare the 7 in my dividend with the 3. So the 3 is smaller than the 7. So my divisor is smaller than the first number in my dividend. So I'm going to skip a rod and then start my division, uh, start to write my quotient here on the fourth rod. So three goes into seven two times, one, two. And so two times three is six. So I'm gonna subtract six from my seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. That leaves me with one in my tens column. So 10 and two, so I have 12. So I'm gonna compare again my divisor with the first number in my dividend. And this time it's larger than the first number in my dividend. So I'm not going to skip a rod. I'm gonna go directly to the left of that first number in my dividend. And then I'm gonna compare three going into 12. How many times can three go into 12? Or how many groups of three go into 12? And I know that three times four is 12, so I'm gonna set four on this third rod. One, two, three, four. Now I have to do my subtraction because four times three is 12. So I'm gonna subtract the 10 and then the two. And then that leaves me with two empty rods to the right of my quotient. And my quotient my answer is 24. And that was um, a division problem with no remainder on the abacus using the counting method.